Mo Norman never had a single plane swing. In a July 1966 Golf Digest article, Dr. Ralph Mann stated, nobody swings on a single plane. Uncocking with no forearm roll, this would bring the club head heel first into the ball and might sprain the golfer's wrist on the follow through. About 90 degrees of forearm roll is necessary to square the club face in the last stages of the downswing just before impact. One hundred percent of golfers place the grip below the pisiform bone. This creates a two-axis grip. Axis one is the shaft, axis two is the forearm. Here is Moe's left-hand two-axis grip. The shaft is one axis, his forearm is the second axis. It is scientifically impossible to rotate a two-axis system on a single plane. Are your ears open? Are you listening? It is scientifically impossible to rotate a two-axis system on a single plane. When the hands are waist high in the downstroke, 100% of tour players' forearms will be above a plane pointed at the ball. At ball impact, 100% of tour players' forearms will be above a plane pointed at the ball. Even though Mo did not swing on a single plane, he had a major mechanical advantage. Mo gripped the club in the lifeline of his right hand, a palm grip. When Mo's hands were waist high in the downstroke, his forearm was also well above a plane pointing at the ball. Mo's huge accuracy advantage was his lifeline grip. His forearm was very close to aligning with the shaft at ball impact. Through impact, his forearm did align with the shaft. It would be great for most real mechanics if the single-plane scam morons would stop with the lies.